But that's one thing I noticed with you is you have a whole huge variety of people that you're dissing. Like, it's so many versus, like, a lot of guys in Chicago or New York, I feel like they pick, like, a couple of names that they really focus on. You got dozens of people that just end up in your lyrics. Yeah, because it's a lot of niggas that die, bro. I ain't even going to lie to you, bro. But it's like, I ain't really on that shit no more. I'm fried off the beef. Like, I don't really want to be a part of Like, I ain't going to say I don't want to be a part of the beef. I never do you don't want it to like be, like, that. the only thing you're known for? Yeah, like, that's not what I'm on. Like, I'm trying to switch my Because, like, it's like, I want to be a commercialized disrespectful, not beef and disrespectful. I want to be, like, a commercialized disrespectful. I could be disrespectful and some dumb ass shit. Like, you feel me? I can do some cool shit. I don't really want to really go too hard on the war because that's not really what I'm trying to promote right now because that shit is like is bringing the city down right now like that shit like is the kids killing kids people dying at school let outs like i don't know if you're seeing this shit but like there's a lot of massacres going on in philly right now like mm -hmm. they had to have the fbi come to philly because a kid got shot at a school some shit like that you you know like you ever you know like the about the Muslim islam religion oh uh, yeah the it the last day of ramadan it was a massacre there too. Probably like seven people got shot, but that's like that's like that's that's doing too much. Like they not the kid like whoever doing this shit out here, like they need like big homies or niggas like me. Like a nigga like me gotta I gotta get on a platform and be telling these niggas like y'all gotta slow y'all rule or y'all gotta like just like calm down. Like it ain't nothing wrong with y'all doing like I mean like everybody do this shit, but it's like is a it's not what you do, it's how you do this shit. You don't like, So you're telling them to not get caught. Not even yeah, <laughs> don't get caught, but just slow your road too though. But it's it, about slowing your road. It's not about just everybody moving off impulse and right. like just you can't do that. You but so it. you're how old now? Twenty four. Twenty four. So you're already starting to like have some regrets about this shit that you came up in because I felt like a big part of your appeal to the audience is that you seem so lighthearted about all this killing and this gang beef and everything that you you just start making jokes about it all the time. They love you for that. Yeah, no, that's my that's my niche. Like I don't give a fuck about them niggas, but that's that's me though. Like I I'm going always do that. That's like it's fuck them niggas, but it's not it's not. I'm not going to tell the world to keep doing that. To, like, that's not too wrong. Don't make it right, bro. So it's not like just because I'm being wrong, that don't mean all the other kids go out there and do this shit too. Could you see yourself? Go to, go to go go be doctor. There ain't no doctors, no electricians, no... Could you take a step away from that at some point, though? You think you'll ever put out a mixtape and it won't have any dissing of the dead? To be honest, Adam, I just started rapping. I started... I've been rapping for two years now. Like, right. I got to elevate. It ain't... It don't... It don't Like how you said, little dude, the nigga, Chicago scene, that shit been going on for 14 years. The little Dirk been rapping for 14 years. They still rapping. He's still rapping drill shit. You get what I'm saying? But it's like... He elevated, though. He could... He could reverse it. Like, you... It come with elevation. Years... As, as years go by, I'm gonna elevate. I'm not gonna stay the same. That is true though, because you'll listen to a Dirk album these days, and there'll be like a couple of songs that are real disrespectful, or a couple of bars that really right. stand out and to you. You're right. like, oh shit, he said that. Right. But then there'll also be a whole fuckload of songs that are like more about his emotional state, right. his relationships. Right. You know, right. he, he elevated in his music, but That's he slowly it did it to Slow. the point where he didn't lose that part Which of the fan base. Crazy. Nothing happened overnight. It's a process. Yeah, That's true. Nothing the, don't happen overnight. It's a process. Definitely. So you started out with the name Mr. Disrespectful. At what point did you decide to change it over to YBC Duel? Yo, you want to know what's crazy? That's where you fucked up at. I'm what? YBC. You see, I would have had a, I would have had a Mr. Disrespectful chain if I was Mr. Disrespectful. Oh, okay. So your your official rap name was never Mr. Disrespectful. No, oh. and, it, and it's crazy, right? Cause I feel it though the Mr. Disrespectful name is bigger than YBC Duel, and they don't know, like. I can't explain it, and I wear my mask. That's why I don't got my mask on right now because I wear the mask so much. Like you ain't, you don't even know who I am. You right. don't know who YBC Duel is. They know who Mr. Disrespectful is, the one with the mask and the chain and all that. Mr. Dis everybody know Mr. Disrespectful. Like they don't know YBC Duel. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because if you're Mr. Disrespectful, then it's kind of hard for you to pivot out of that and make other like, kinds of I music. Never, right. That never was my name, bro. My fans gave me that name. Like the fans was called because I was really being like. Nobody was doing it like I was doing it. Like I was literally going crazy. Like, like 
all my old songs, like, my old songs, like, I was going crazy, like, mm. bad, like, and it was, like, to the point where, like, they start calling me Lord Duel, they naming me Lord Duel, they was calling me Lord Duel and Mr. Disrespectful, mm. and I ain't want to be Lord Duel because I'm, I'm Muslim, I mm. ain't, so, I'm, I'm Mr. Disrespectful, I chose that, the fans gave me that name. It is crazy reading the comments on your videos, and I, I read one comment of a kid just saying, this is a whole new type of music. This is disrespectful rap. Like, yeah, like yeah. it's a genre. Yeah, disrespectful rap. Basically. I'm like, this kid is really just leaving this comment, and he's, like, so genuinely excited about the fact that you are so disrespectful <laughs> in your music. Like, it means a lot to him. I'm, I was guessing that I wasn't reading but somebody I'm, who's, like, from your neck of the woods. This is probably a fan kid from it's hours crazy, away. though, right? Because when I first started rapping, I never used, I was always disrespect. I always see some disrespectful shit, but I always used to say, like, a funny ass I had like a funny line in my um like in one of my verses like I see some funny shit. Mm. I stopped doing like I don't rap like how I used to. I gotta get back like I used to be more like on some like I used to pop shit like I used to really pop shit like clothes, money, bitches and shit like that. And I always talk about like, feel me, that shit. But like now you're like, a little bit more like just straight Grim Reaper straight, lyrics. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Cause them niggas be trying true, so like I feel as though I got top. Nobody can't top my Jones. But when did you find feel like you found your direction in terms of the beats and everything? Because you definitely rap over a different style of production than most drill rappers. Uh, to be honest, bro, whatever beat I listen to, and I feel like I feel like this is my genre, like how I pick my beats. I got feel like the beat. Like, gotta be hot. Like, the beat gotta be a beat that I feel like you gonna wanna repeat. Like, mm -hmm. this, then I'm gonna rap on it. I can't rap on a beat that and make it hot. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't like that type shit. I gotta make, like, the beat already gotta be some shit. Like, damn, like, feel me? Like, when you hear the beat, like, it's gonna be like, all right. Then lot, I'm gonna go. A lot of your shit has like these crazy ass sort of Detroit type drums, yeah. and then they'll have like a like a lot of like really fast paced samples yeah. and shit as well. So it sounds very much like end of the world slash yeah. like chaos yeah. type beats. Yeah, like on that tip, yep. Like it, I, I definitely I started up I, Detroit beats. It's like a Detroit Philly st like we got like the Philly, all the Philly rappers rap like like on we our beats like is like because I feel I feel as though. Everybody started off with Beats by Sav. That's like a, like he, the trick. Beats by Sav really was like our beat boy. That's who we was going to. But he never know us though. We used to always use his beats off YouTube mm. until I became like popping. And then they started making YBC dual type beats and they knew my sound. Like they knew what type beats I like. And I got producers now that like, that really just like, know me like they know what i'm gonna I'm do to they beat so they send me certain shit mm. there's a couple beats they all uh, they, they from i got a couple beats i got a couple producers definitely so when you got into making music though were you thinking of it as like oh, all right there's this existing philly drill scene and i, I want to be part of it or is that just kind of where you landed I just style wanted, wise i just wanted money bro instantly as soon as i, I knew we was gonna make money out this shit instantly like, i instantly knew like we got a story to tell. For me, they gonna listen. We gonna make money off this shit. Cause you sound like you already had made quite a bit of money for yourself before you really even got into the rapping thing, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. I but, was heavy, like heavy, heavy back and forth out here. But did that shit get fucked up at a certain point and that made you wanna rap? Or was it more like you were comfortable enough that you were like, I'm gonna rap too? To be honest, like sort of what both kinda. Cause like, you know, like in the, I ain't gonna lie, like in this shit, bro, like it's ups and downs, like, bro, I lost a lot of one, like, I lost a lot, got it back, I lose, I, like, you can't tell, though, I don't never show that shit, but, like, yeah, I lost a lot, I lost all that shit probably before at one point in time, I lost all my money probably before I got that shit back, though, but it's like, it's like, that shit be like, it's not how you, it's not what you do, it's how you do it, bro. It's all so, about how you recover from those losses, too, yeah, especially like, anybody yeah. who's a, uh, making them things fly back and forth, mm -hmm. you got to really be able to persevere because at some point you're going to lose the load or you're going to lose the money. And it's like, nah, it's like the war really, like, you can't really, like, violence and money don't mix. Like, mm. you're either going to get money or you're going to do that. 
That's why it ain't too many niggas that kill get money. No, you know, not it ain't too many niggas that do that get money. A lot of the drill rappers from Chicago or New York or wherever who are like really rapping on some violent shit are not even pretending to be hustling or really having yeah, money like that. Like that's not hustle. the image yeah, they even yeah. putting out. Yeah, like I'm I wasn't never on. I was on some fly killer shit. Mm. L always on fly killer shit. Oh, we got money. We the young bag chasers. That's what we started off as. Feel me? But it's like. God had money though. You and that shit, you was gonna, it's gonna come with ups and downs though. You are gonna lose that shit. You gonna get it back. It's a part of life. It's not like, for me, I know you probably go through that shit too with with whatever shit you be going through. Like you probably be having a good run all month. Like you probably do like, however many podcasts you do, whatever. But that shit probably you probably be looking back like, damn, like I'm in the same spot. Like what the fuck, like. Feel me? Like you, you know gotta how constantly that, reinvent yourself. It's like it's like it's just like it's ups and downs, and you gotta know how to cope with that shit. You gotta know how to manage it. You gotta know how to not break down. You gotta know how to mentally stay focused. Mm hmm. Hundred percent. How would you describe your rap style? Because it's very casual in a way. It's very fast paced. A little bit all over the place. How'd you land on that style? And it's it's very like effortless. It's not like you're really sounding like you're trying to wrap your ass off. Yeah, I'm not, actually. I just literally go in there and say, I don't even, do it sound like I punch in or do it sound like I'm right, like I write? It kind of sounds like you punch in. That's what I would assume. I assume most rappers these days don't really write. Oh, right, yeah, no, yeah, I just punch in whatever I say. But I got to make it. The song going, like, at the end of the song, it's going, like, like it's gonna mean something like I'm not gonna be off topic but it's like I gotta punch in every line like once I do a line I'm gonna think of another line I'm gonna think of another line I have a, each line like I can't just go in there and say six eight lines and then like I can't do that I don't write I don't write that shit hard I'm not a I'm not a rapper yet well I'm a rapper now but it's like I gotta learn how to rap though you get what i'm saying i'm a rapper you get what i'm saying uh, but i gotta learn how to rap though i don't know how to rap. i know how to talk shit on the beat you got the fame and yeah. the and the viewership before you felt like you really became like a true lyricist but you but you are interested in like continuing to get better and better as an actual rapper actually people be telling me like since i um been rapping like now a lot of motherfuckers been telling me like my vocabulary starting to get better in like my songs mm. shit like that like i'm learning how to use better words and like I don't know. Like, I'm just learning. I'm talking better in my songs. Not, you know, fitting the words together better and not, you know, using too many syllables per bar and everything like that. I feel like to be a good rapper in this day and age, it's about more than just like having a big vocabulary. It's like how well composed your hey, bars yo, are. Hey, yo, B, 